See, but James that's Madison problem. said it. He said it should be the popular vote, but then he said, no, no, "But no. hold on, wait, wait, wait." Because wait. we got let's, slaves. Let's get this back. Let's, <laughs> let's make sure we got the because yeah. if I'm correct, um, the founding fathers fathers started the whole electoral to make sure that they had um, they they didn't want to have a tyrant. <laughs> no, over. that's not why they created like yes, college. Yeah, I got this. The f- f- first, the, the founding fathers where did trust. You, where, where, did you, where did you get that from? History Channel. That's the rest of not a good source. No, see, see, you you got to get your information from unbiased source. That's not why it was created. I mean, there's literally white politicians on TV recently saying how and why it was created, and they talk about slavery. That's the only reason why it was created because of the slaves. And yeah, I was and, about to, and, wait, and again, stop, stop. and again, oh, and you, you're you disagreeing said, me, okay. with me. You haven't even let me okay, okay. go through everything okay. because, 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 because slavery is in it. Of... Slavery is slavery is. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. But you, that's why <laughs> okay. I'm saying. Really, okay. I, I think we got this. You got it reversed, and I'm just yeah. going to tell you why. So they, <clears throat> founding fathers did not did not trust the electorate, which is the regular people, to be able to, to that they would be well informed enough to. Um, vote for a a particular, a good person, a qualified member, okay? Person. Okay. And they also feared that someone could come in and and get enough popular people to vote their way Mm -hmm. as a a tyrant to to just control, take over. Mm -hmm. So James Madison proposed the prototype for electoral college, which counted slaves as three-fifths a person. The reason why they did it is, again, in the North, there was more people. Mm-hmm. And just more people could vote. Minus, right, because slaves could okay. vote. So yeah. if we take slaves out of the equation right. to vote, the North was winning that. Right. They added the number of slaves, but again, you could only count three fifths. Three for every, for every five. Yeah. So then, therefore, that boosted the numbers of the South, right? That gave them more n- numbers to be able to, for the electoral college. Right. So that gave them more electoral college numbers because they are able to count slave slaves as votes. But right. yet votes I mean, but yet slaves couldn't vote for anything. Right. So it's like you know, I don't even we'll go into slavery another time. Um so the p- point about it <clears throat> this gave the slave states a disproportionate number of electoral votes. Okay. Right. So it raised their number. The South had over a half a million slaves at the time, and of course they could not vote in modern. So basically, we are agreeing that in modern day, today, no one we don't need the um, right. electoral college because people technically are smart enough <laughs> to yeah. be able to vote for the right person. And I, so I'm agreeing with that. I just don't agree with the where it started and everything. With what that. do you mean? Just that it started. It became because the the south was able to get more numbers and you're saying that it was just created so that the south had got more numbers mm-hmm. but you were saying it was based to make it, it fair for the north and it wasn't it was the opposite it was to make it make the south more powerful hold on say that again because you you okay you, if you, you go by me if you go <laughs> by numbers <clears throat> okay of people who can vote so up okay. north there was more people who could okay. vote just because of right. you have to own land the slaves, and all that yeah. other stuff, and yeah. slaves did not. So their populations were high up right. there, Based and there was just that. more people of of and, right. and they did count free slaves. Right. So down north or south, they did not, or I'm not saying right. free slaves, just free. They counted free everyone. people, people, yeah. In the south, if you were a slave, you weren't counted. Right. So therefore, they would just took their numbers, which had a bu- millions of slaves, and that gave them more power in the end. It gave the North more power than South more power because of the fact that they were able to include their numbers. Right, well, increase well, their numbers. Well, it, 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 the, you the, know the, that... Hold on, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on let, let me say this. Mm-hmm. The only reason why it gave the... Okay, f- f- first of all, the, the three-fifth compromise, mm-hmm. if, if the North d- didn't agree to that... The South wouldn't have even been part of the United States. That was, that was a part of the whole deal. The South said, if you guys don't let us count three out of five of our slaves, we're not even going to be a part of this union. Where you, where they have a whole thing about that. Oh, from, from universities, everything, historians. Mm. Yeah, I, I swear to God. See? See, so, so, so the South said no. Okay. Right? 
if the, the South said, if you say no to the three fifth union, it'll be no United States. No, no, no. I get right. So wait, they, they, they wanted is... to count their slaves. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'll let you finish. Let me let, let me okay, finish. I'm agreeing they, with they, you. Yeah, did they want to count their slaves? Yes. To be represented, but they didn't want their slaves to actually vote. And, and, and if the North didn't agree to that three fifth compromise, they called it back then, yeah. those whole southern states, they would have created their own state. That was the only way the North even got them to be a part of the Union and became the United States. You know, I'm not what disagreeing with right. you. We're talking about different things, though, because right. I'm still saying right. that so, three fifths is not, yes, they agreed to it. But I'm not saying right. that. And, 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 but it and, gave and, and them the South, power. The, they, South the, man the, South wanted, the, they, the South wanted to count everybody. But then they said, oh, we, we're not going to let you count everybody. We're only right. going to let you do count three fifths. Three, three out of five people. We're going to let you count three out of five people. Okay. So so it's it's the, the term. Right, right, right. It's three fifths. Right, 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 right. To, to, make it, to make it a little more even. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. because without counting the slaves, just like you said prior, the North had way more people. But if you counted the slaves, mm -hmm. the South had way more people. And I, and I actually should have brought the... I actually should have brought the... Break. So my, I had an actual grab. My only so, point so, about so it is that... if you counted just three out of five, mm -hmm. those numbers match the North a lot closer. Yes. You know what I'm trying to say? But the North was slick, and it's a good thing they were, because even though they did that and allowed it, they still ended up winning based on the electoral college that James Madison said it needed to exist. I agree. The with first that. five presidents came out of the North, okay. and they were saying it's a good thing they created the electoral college because of that. Because they didn't, and it went on just a popular vote, and they let them count all the slaves. The South would be in total control. But they couldn't do a popular vo vote, right? Uh, yeah, right. What? Well, well, they they decided not to. No. no, no. <laughs> right. they, what I'm trying to tell you is there's, there's no possible way they could have won in the South with a popular vo vote, right? Well, well, unless they counted all the slaves. I know that. But this, we, right. Okay, we both agree the slaves right. don't vote, right? Right. So it's re right. irregardless of how many slaves they had, if they can't vote, then they... then So that's where the Electoral College helps the South. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. It helped the South because they were able to say, I have this many people and, right. and we're all voting this way, but yet they're really not able to vote. Right. And so therefore... Their popular, again, the census numbers, the people who could vote still voted for someone that was down south, but they had electoral numbers that, like you just said, added up to make it fairly equal. So it was meant to just make it appeasing to, it was all based, it's, it's a slavery thing and it's dehumanizing de de to slaves. As a more than right. just about these votes and stuff, because right. they could care less that black people were, you know, that they even had slaves. What they just wanted to be able to, to they definitely wanted to know that they had power and they had control right. and they had the chance to keep it or give it up if, you know, but right. it just, it even, it even things out because yes, if the North had never agreed, they would have separated. I get that. Right. I agree with that. But they would have separated. The South. Yeah basically just devalued human beings in order to be able to have power. Right. So that's more my point. About right, no, I get, no, and we, we agree there. Yeah, but but I'm just saying it wasn't created out of, no, I want to call it what it is. It wasn't created, and you guys can do your own research. There's tons of research, but just but just use the correct source. You know, the source of research is very important. You know, I, I, I want to just call it what it is. It wasn't just based, well, I think where we disagree, and dis disagreements are good, is, is it was created because they didn't want someone to come up, you know, and have some tyranny and stuff. They didn't have shit to do with that. It, it, was, it was all James Madison. I actually could pull the speech up. One of the main historians from, I forgot what college he's from. He, he's wrote books about this. No. He, he, he actually pulled it. He actually has the speech where James Madison goes, wait a minute, but no, we can't do a popular vote because if they're counting all of their slaves, they're going to win every time. You know what I'm saying, but so 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 keep in mind, he wasn't thinking that the South was like, no, we're we're not going to count all our slaves. He wasn't thinking that. He was thinking if we do the popular vote and they are counting all their slaves, they would win every time. Um, I, I could pull up the pull up the speech for you right and now. And you know, James Madison is is a slave owner, right? Oh, I know that. So he would not want to save the North, right? Okay. So in other but, but he was 
He was there, though, in the North, in Philadelphia, wherever it happened, with all the other but delegates. still representing right. the South, so, Southern states, right? Well, I don't, know, well, I, don't know, well, I don't know what state he was from. I actually thought he, 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 he was from the North. He's a slave owner. I, I, I know that, but, so, but, but I, Virginia is, it was kind of in the North, and it was still a slave you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I think but, he was in Virginia, actually. That's so, the way he's from. Kind of my right. point in saying it is, right. I get, it's, it was so the South had power. It's not so the North could have, or the North was, it was so the South had power where the North could not vote. It, 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 it's, Let but me, at the same time, things were, that's where we differ. Because right, right. I say he, that he, it's he, because he's a slave owner, yeah, so he is he not looking out said, for the North. But he, he literally said, nope, we can't do a popular vote. We got to create an electoral system so that we can, uh, 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 you know, have a number of representatives rep, rep, representing those South states based on their number, but, we, but they can't count all their slaves. So that's when they said it's, it's got to be three out of five. So it was still trickery because the North kept winning anyway, which is what they wanted. It was still trickery, which, which is which is why I said earlier in the podcast that it was actually good back then, the Electoral College, because mm-hmm. the South had that power and they were able to count all of their slaves, Slave which, is, which, which, is, which is what they wanted to do, even though they didn't want to have them vote. The North was like, no, you get to count three out of the five. They ain't voting anyway, is what, is what I'm trying to say. See what I'm saying? Had the South been allowed what, allowed what they wanted to do and count all their slaves, they had way more numbers, they would have won the popular vote every time. And that's where we're agreeing, but you think <laughs> I'm disagreeing no, with you. No, I'm saying no, we're three to fifth. How we're no, I'm, I'm agreeing that the three-fifths was used because right. if it counted every single one, the South would have won every single election. But yep. they didn't. And, and they said slavery would have lasted longer. <laughs> yeah. All oh, yeah. type of stuff would have happened. They said, they said it would have been crazy. Country view must, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> because they 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 would have been winning every single election based on their ideals and ideologies and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I think this is how our say, discussions go. He right, I, I, one I, way and he's projecting it, and I'm like, um, I didn't. No, no, I mean, I mean, the we only are point still the we same. disagree we on still is same. why they created it. Yes, I'm saying it was strictly because of slavery, and you're saying it's because of some other stuff and slavery. It's it's based on slavery, but it's right. It, it's yeah, also based on saying. the fact that they didn't want the population to be able to vote for, um, for the president. They didn't think right. that the general population was smart enough but to it had nothing to do with the north once again and we're going in circle guys we're going to end it but <laughs> it had nothing to do with the north though because the north didn't have slaves they were you know what i'm saying so was, you know. i think we're saying yeah. i think we're saying the same thing but, in a but, way. Just, but there was if to expand there was still uh you know people up in the north who thought slavery was okay even though they didn't have any they just of course yeah they some of them thought it was okay they would yeah. catch them and send them back down Right, right, exactly, so. exactly. So, so anyway, guys, as you can see, it can get heated on these subjects, and it's always going to get heated. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the electoral college needs to stop. It needs to end. It's a, it's a bunch of bullshit. It needs to be based on the popular vote. I don't care how many people you have in your state. You don't have enough. You, you politicians just, just got to get out there and hit the pavement and win the popular vote. And I hope one day this outdated system that started in the 1700s finally stops. And my point will be, uh, get out and vote. Because if you don't vote, it, yeah. it doesn't, it, the popular thing will really matter even more. But right. j- getting out and vote and it be and the electoral college is out of it, then you know that your vote matters. And that's right. what I want you and to And also the, the census, too, to actually sum it up. And complete the census, yes. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, because in looking this They're up, hand in hand. I started looking at the census a lot more seriously mm-hmm. because I would always you, you, like, F the census. I don't I ain't yeah. filling that thing out. But now I see how important it is. But if they end the, the electoral college, it won't matter anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what they need to do. It's, it's just just end the, the numbers are college. based on your on your population or your yeah I know so. yeah I know it, it matters yeah but it but if they end the electoral college then it won't matter if they only it, use it to decide how many electorates each state gets correct correct exactly you know what I'm saying so yeah. if they end the electoral college then the census won't won't matter anyway is yeah. what I'm saying unless they use it for other stuff they do I, use it for I, other I, stuff I, for I, resources I, oh okay you know yeah. how much to give to 
uh, whatever state um, gotcha, for funding gotcha. and stuff like that. Yeah, gotcha. There's there's census is just important overall. So okay. that's a whole different topic. Gotcha. <laughs> we'll get All right, guys. Well, that was our first episode of the HPR. Come we'll get better. And... Shakur and Smith. <laughs> It's it's all good. I mean, to me, I mean, good podcasts, you're going to have disagreements. That's what I like about it. I mean, I've seen some of my peers like Joe Button and them go at it on podcasts, even on State of the Culture and all. They be arguing like, so you might see some fights with me and Chris. It's all yeah. good. But that to me, that's what makes a great podcast. Like I said, it's the HBR Chronicles with Shakur and Smith. Tune in uh, next time. We're kind of deciding how often we're going to bring it out and how we're going to release it. But this episode will probably come out tomorrow. I want to release this before the weekend. But anyway, tune in every week. And you you guys actually could email us at rptalktruth at gmail. That's our same email from my other podcast, but it's oh. race, politics, you know what I'm saying? Romantic, probably. you know what I'm saying? You could email us there. I'm, we're going to check those emails and get those answers and stuff anyway. And if uh, one of us got it wrong, you could tell us. Tell us, yeah. yeah. Follow us on, on uh, social media. Yeah. You'll see all that stuff in the description. And I hope this kind of explained the Electoral College to you guys. And we were clear, even though we were uh, going in circles sometimes, too. <laughs> all right, peace <laughs> out. All right, peace.